Welcome to Splice, a game by Cypher Prime Studios. And if you know who they are, congratulations, you win bonus points. And if you don't know who they are, they made a game called Fractals, Make Bloom Not War. And they also made a game called Auditorium. Both are available on Steam if you want to go pick them up. I believe they're also available in other places, maybe. So, Splice, what is it? And is it worth the money? Okay, Splice is a weird puzzler. It's essentially you going into a microbial world and splicing. And the only way to actually explain this really is to show you. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to jump in and I'm going to show you. So let's go ahead and jump into the first level. Notice I've actually done the first few. Why? As prep, so that I didn't suck. Right, now how this works is you see these strand things here that I'm hovering over. You can actually pick these up and move them. And they will behave in different ways, like so. Wee, wee, like so. Now, if I move this one here and drop it over here, that fails. See, but if I pick this one here and drop it here, then ta-da, puzzle solved. And on to the next one. Strand assembled. Dilling. So the idea is to fill the puzzle in however many splices or moves you have. Now, for some of these, it's fairly simple. For some of these, it's not. Like if I pick up that one and move it here, then because it, if you have two coming off, it splits into a Y shape, you'll then do that. Now, the first one of these didn't give me too much trouble. As you can see, I'm just going to try and get through them. Some of them, unfortunately, did start causing me problems. And I'm going to hazard a guess that we're going to get further than I got in this video, which means you're going to also see me sit here for like five minutes staring at one screen going, uh... Ah, yes, now this is the one that only has one. There you go. Just like that. Bam. So you, as I said, you may know Sofa Prime for their other games, Fractals and Auditorium. Two fantastic games. The music in both of them is wonderful. And the music in Splice is just as brilliant. You can hear it playing away in the background. It's this wonderful piano. Very, they, they actually say that it's hauntingly beautiful. And I have to admit, it's very mellow music. And I'm not sure if that's the right one. Yes, look at that. So the game comes with 49 basic puzzles. It's split down into seven levels with seven sets in each level. And I honestly have no idea. I think that and that. Yes, another really simple one. There you go. But once you've completed all 49 basic puzzles, there are there is then an epilogue sequence, which is apparently a lot harder. Ah, now this is the first one that gave me trouble, and I'm going to have to try and remember how it works. So I've only got two moves to complete this. And if I fail, like so, I'm just going to move one there. Like, bam, there's no way I can complete that. So I can either completely screw it up, in which case I've created some horrible mutant abomination. And it will tell me that I've exhausted my splices, and it won't actually allow me to put anything anywhere. Oh, actually, apparently it will. I don't think it will allow me to complete the level, though. But I can rewind using the slider down here. So let's actually do one really sort of, like, in a horrible way, and see if we can actually get it to yell at me that I've... Oh, wow, I've managed to complete it without meaning to. <laughs> um, hmm. Let's do this one again, and let's actually mess it up this time. I have no idea how I did that. Right, so we're going to then move that one there, and this one over here. There, splice is exhausted. So we'll put that one there, this one here, and we'll put two on here so it should split. There, splice is exhausted. So it won't actually let me complete the level, because it tells me that I've exhausted my splices. So I then have to rewind all the way back. And I need to now remember how I did this. I think it was that. And then that. No. Okay. Slightly problematic. I now can't remember how I actually did the level. I believe that. And then that. Yeah, there we go. That, the word that is going to get used a lot during this video. 
Okay, so now we're on to sequence two, and as you can see, I've done the first few ones because this introduces a new mechanic, and I wanted to be able to explain it to you fully in all of its glorious detail. So this little capsule here, I'm going to call it a capsule, it's actually a strand, I guess. Oh no, each level is a strand, so this is just a cell? Would you call it a cell? Anyway, if I hit enter when I'm hovering over it, bam, it splits. Now, everything that's attached to it and is coming off from it splits as well. If you notice, this one will split as well. Which means if I move it, which I don't think I can do, no, it won't actually let me move it. So we'll try it on the next level. Da da da. So if we move this one, or if we split this one just there, there you go. It's split into two. Now, if we pull this back, and we move that one there, and then we split it, it doubles the ones that are coming off from it as well. Success. Which means that you really do have to try and think of just exactly how you're going to get these done. I'm honestly not sure with this one. I think I split it and then I can do that. Yes. And now we are into new territory, I believe. Oh, jeepers. Right. So I've got two moves. Um. Um. What happens if we just split? Okay, no. We're missing some as well. We're missing... No. I've still got one left. Is that going to work? Oh, look at that. I'm not sure what I've created, but it looks happy with its newfound life. So you may notice at the bottom when you've completed a level, there's actually an angelic word come up. This means that there is an angelic solution, which, if you have OCD, will irritate you. Because it means that the puzzle can be solved in fewer moves than it gives you. And therefore, you have to, you know, go back and actually do that. Bam. Can I... Oh. Right. So I needed to create one more. I'm not sure how I'm going to do this one. No, no, because that picks it all up. If I move... That there, that doesn't work. Because I then can't... Move... No, I can't move the mutation... Anywhere. I can do that, but that's not gonna... Maybe? Oh! Success! I'm smarter than I give myself credit for. Well, I'm not really. See this, potential angelic, means you can solve it in fewer moves. Or well, the big angelic word that you can see up the top, hidden away there. Okay, another one. I'm not sure. Let's try moving that one there, and if we split it, and move that there. That's not going to work, is it? No. Okay. Let's have a few more attempts at this one and then we'll call it there. So, we need to do something with the mutation and splitting it. If we pick up this and put it there, and then split, we end up with way too many, I believe. Yeah, we've now got one too many. Huh. So, if we... Hang on, can we go forward a step? Go forward a step. There. So we need this one off of it. We need three, essentially. No, because we need... 
No, because that one will split into two, yes. So we need only three coming off from this. So if we do that... Oh no, we need to put it on that one. Right, so if we re rewind, put this one over here. Split this. Rewind that. And then we should just be able to pick that up. And move that one there. There we go. That is that puzzle successfully completed. And I'm not going to do any more. So, this was a really quick look at Spliced. As I said, 49 basic puzzles plus the epilogue. The music is wonderful. The piano is beautiful. And it, it, it is what they say. It's hauntingly beautiful. And they also say that the colours will massage your retinas. That one I'm not sure. Give or take that one with a pinch of salt, you know. But Splice is, of course, the fourth title out from Cypher Prime. As I mentioned, other games that were out. Fractals, Auditorium. Uh, can't remember the other one. I'm sorry, Cypher. Forgive me on that one. Game comes with 16 achievements if you get it on Steam, and it's fairly cheap. Whether you get your money's worth, I'm not sure on that one. You might, you never know. It depends how much you like puzzle games, but I can see this getting really complicated really quickly. Case in point, here. I have no idea what happens if I mutate. Oh. That went horribly wrong, and I've created some sort of evil thing with arms and legs. So there you go, I'm going to leave it there. If you have any questions, queries, or comments, of course, leave them down below. And if you'd love the look of Splice, then by all means, pick up a copy, and please do let me know. I will catch you for the next video, guys. Peace.